Okay, today I wanted to talk a little bit about a PSC motor. And the, uh, specifically the multiple speeds that we do with PSC motors. Now this motor here has a number of uh, colored uh, connections for it. It also has a little run cap right there. Okay, there's only two windings in the motor. The start winding, which power is fed up to the cap and then goes back to the start winding, that's to assist in starting and to keeping it operating efficiently. The other winding is a run winding. And what we're going to be concerned mostly here with is that run winding. Now here we have the array of wires going to the run winding. Okay, in most motors, not all of them, most motors, white is the common. Okay, that goes to the common uh, terminal which the start winding feeds out of and the run winding feeds out of. Now I'm going to show a diagram of the motor after a bit. Okay, these wires here, now there's four of these wires. These are all run winding wires. And what I mean by that is these are all different taps on the run winding. Which one's which? Well, the shortest winding is the high speed. That's this one right here. And it's black. That's the shortest winding. The yellow is medium high, it's a little longer winding. The blue is a little longer yet, so that's a medium. And the red is the longest, and that's the lowest speed. So why does the black make the highest speed and the red make the lowest? Well, it's primarily because of the resistance of the winding. The black one has the lowest resistance between the white here and black, so more power will pass through it. And it sequences through to the rest of these windings and they all get higher. I'm gonna demonstrate that here in a sec. Okay, here we have a schematic diagram of this motor. Now, if you look at L1, it goes over to the run cap. It's just using the run cap as a terminal point. And this is the run winding here. This is the extensions of the run winding. Now, you've got a start winding over here coming off the cap. This is the common terminal. So, when... I have power coming through L2, I've felt L1 already. This switch, if, it's, if it goes to high, then it simply goes right through that short portion of the run winding. That's going to be the highest speed because it has the lowest resistance. Then if I go to a medium, uh, there will be a longer winding, more resistance, lower speed actually lower amp draw, which equates to a lower speed. And of course, low speed is going to lower it even less or even more. So what this is doing is just adding resistance into the line. You can change speeds with these by using different poles. If you can, you can set it up so that there are different poles in the motor. There can be two poles, uh, four poles, six poles, eight pole. The fewer poles, the faster the motor goes. You can do that, but the reason they don't always do that with these PSC motors they use as fan motors is they'll go too slow. When they want speeds on these fan motors, they want kind of a minimum speed not half speed. So they don't usually change poles, they just add the resistance of these windings. Okay, 
that's how these motors actually work that is the uh, color code that's used on most motors there are other color codes used on some brands but that's the most common with that white as being the common uh, brown of course is for the uh, capacitor high is black yellow medium high blue uh, medium or medium low and red as low it's just a longer piece of wire with more resistance in it hope this one makes sense